Hi everyone, welcome to the break room where we can talk about things frivolous and fun, the silly as well as the serious. Like for example, movies 2023. What movies have you seen this year? What's been your favorite movie that you've seen this year? And because I know that there are still a lot of people who are not all that comfortable with going to see a movie in the theater, even though the pandemic has quote, has sort of kind of wound down and we're not talking about it as much anymore, a lot of people are still kind of nervous about going back to the movie theater. And there are a lot of people who say it costs too much, so they wait for streaming. So I'm going to count anything you've seen this year, whether it's streaming or in the theater or something of a year or two or older or more than that that you finally just now got around to seeing. So what's been your favorite movie this year? My husband and I, we've gone to see a few things in the theater. The first movie we saw this year was the adaptation of Judy Bloom's novel, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. And I loved that film. And one of the reasons is because you don't see all that many really high quality, top level coming of age movies with female leads. The best ones, the ones that everybody remembers, the iconic ones, things like um, Stand By Me or The Goonies, or if you're thinking around Christmas time, Home Alone and A Christmas Story. So many of the ones that everybody knows and loves are about young boys and you don't see as many critically acclaimed or generally agreed upon strong coming of age movies made for and about girls. So this movie was after my own heart and I thought it did a very good job of capturing a young girl's life um, circa 1970, yes. In real life, I was one year old at the time. As far as most exciting movie or most exciting popular movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse probably takes that title. I'm so glad. That's one of those movies where I'm really glad I saw it on the big screen because streaming and a normal size TV set just don't give it the oomph it deserves, where you're basically falling into the film. That's one of the reasons why I think the movie going experience, the movie theater experience is still valuable. When the lights are down and everything is shut away, everything about the real world is shut away in darkness. And all that's coming at you from the screen is just this blaze of light and images. And the more exciting, the more intense the movie, and the further removed from the real world and real life in the contemporary world it is, the more you kind of fall into the film, into the world of that film. And um, Spider-Man across, Spider-Man 2, I should say, across the Spider-Verse, that movie did that for me. So those are probably my two favorite movie going experiences of the year. I did see Barbie. I liked it a lot. I did see Oppenheimer. I liked that even more. So what have been your favorite movies? Share with me. Let me know what you think.